بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم ما بعد among the bounties and nعمه of الله سبحانه وتعالى is the bounty and the nعمه of the water of Zamzam. No science, no technology, no invention, no power in earth can bring forth what the kudrat and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had brought. So we are fortunate, the people of deen have the treasures of dunya in akhirat, but it's for those who want to see it. Otherwise, a person can be in a bounty, an ocean of bounties and complain. And somebody can be an, on an island of bounties and stay in sajda forever. It is up to the individual. And from Zamzam we learn the lesson and this misconception that the solutions to my problems of dunya can be resolved through dunya, through wealth, through the people of dunya. No. But Hajar radiallahu anha resolved the problem, the need, of the time through amal, through deen, to turn into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was beyond the norm. It was set in the standards. We have to get ready to undertake the task if we want to surpass and excel and transcend beyond all measures. We have to have it in us, no matter what the taqaza, the demand of deen is, I'm ready to dominate and outperform and outmatch anyone. The match, the challenge for Akhirat, I'm going to be first. When Ibrahim والسلام, got ready for that challenge, that taqaza, that command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and his wife got ready as well, and his child, they were ready to put the entire family on the line for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only did Allah solve the problems of dunya, but Allah made inni ja'iluka linnasi imama. I'm going to make you an imam, a leader for mankind. And thus ummah, khairul umam, the best of ummahs have been told, ittabi'u millata Ibrahima hanifa, follow the millah, the way, the pattern of Ibrahim والسلام, that was connected to the Qudrat of Allah. If somebody had to narrate the story of Zamzam, then people will consider it a fairy tale, a fabrication. It is not possible in the valley of death, biwadin in, in the valley of death, desolation, in a desert where there is no vegetation, no life, and Allah makes a system. No science, no technology, no person on earth can come close to the Qudrat of Allah. So we need to understand that the solution to every problem for every person on this earth for his worldly problems and ukhrawi problems stems and solution that lies only in deen. It's only in deen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave so much barakah that besides following her pattern and imitating her, Allah had left the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the well of Zamzam, just 21 meters away from the Kaaba on the Mataf. And Allah took the khidmat of building the Baytullah from Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. What a great khidmah. If we want our worldly solutions and ukhrawi solutions. Let us take lesson from this. So we find that the well of Zamzam, which flows from two sides, one is from Abu Kubay's mountain and the other one is from Safa, around 11 to 18 liters are pumped every second. Imagine how much baraka. What was the strength of that amal of Hajar in Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam? that Allah is showing us the fruits of the efforts. He said every second of every moment of the day, water is pumped out. And then water is transferred as well to King Abdullah Zamzam Water Distribution Center. Just until the end of Dhul Qaeda 2018 in the Hajj season, 
8.5 million liters of Zimzum was transferred. Can we imagine? 8.5 million liters. And around 150,000 liters are pumped on normal days. Peak season, 450,000 liters. And daily, daily in Masjid al Haram in Mecca to Al Mukarramah, 700,000 liters of Zamzam is drunk daily. And in peak season, 2 million liters of Zamzam water is drunk daily. Between the Haramain, there are 40,000 cool sterilized containers. The 150,000 was just in Masjid al Nabawi. 450,000 a year, 2.5 million, 2 million liters daily. And in the Kudai district in Mecca, which 700 million Saudi Riyals were spent, that's where 1.5 million liters of Zamzam is pumped out. And they produce 200,000 liters a day. 200,000 water bottles a day are produced. So we can understand it's not something normal, it's not something logical. Then what? Physical benefits and ruhani benefits Allah has put on it. Scientists say there's natural ingredients in Zamzam like calcium, magnesium, ferromagnesium, compounds, sodium, potassium chloride, the calcium Potassium improves the nervous system. All of these compounds, Allah knows best what are the benefits and why Allah has put them inside it. But it's the Zahiri scientific apparent benefits. Research have said that uh, it's a cure for cancer. It's a cure for decay in spinal cord. It's a cure for leukemia. Uh, cure for tu tumors. It's a cure for body pain, inflammation, dizziness, headaches, wounds, rashes, weakness, abnormal uh, sicknesses, childbirth, and uh, other issues as well. There's a host of solutions. There was one Dr. Emoto who was a Japanese scientist, and he composed, he has written a book, The Hidden Messages in Water. So his research shows that there were molecules of water that get affected by the thoughts and feelings. So frozen water was taken, crystals were formed, and then based on your feelings and the words that you say will affect the crystals. So he called it uh, this discovery, the head of the... So that was the real nature of water and the vibrational pattern of matter, matter on a atomic level, because they used to use the different instruments to see. So on a, on a nano atomic level, the impact of human beings on the water. And his research shows that the crystals change shape according to the thoughts and feelings directed towards it. Positive thoughts make positive energy crystals. Negative thoughts create poor form crystals, completely distorted. So this Hedo in, in his words, he took Zamzam and he said Zamzam took different shapes and forms. So in relation to Zamzam water and normal water, but he found there was a higher impact of the crystals being positively influenced through ayat and verses of the Quran. And his claim is that unlike normal water, he could not crystallize Zamzam water. Zamzam water could not be crystallized. So after making a lot of effort and doing a lot of tests, eventually from one drop of Zimzum, he had to take a thousand drops of normal water. So he took a Quranic ayat, Bismillah rahman rahim and he found that these crystals formed a perfect shape when Quran was recited. So the the purity, the quality, and the standard of Zamzam water. In his research, there is no other water on earth like it. And even just one drop to a thousand drops of normal water would increase 
the normal water's potency. So we are told that if you have zamzam, then just pour other water. It's not a myth, it's just not fairy tales. Deen is not just a hype and a fabrication and stories, no. There is a truth to it, we need yaqeen in it. And then also we found that the minerals in the zamzam was superior and it excelled any other water. And it remained pure over a long period. There was another doctor in Munich, Dr. Pfeiffer, and he seen the energy fields of human cells and he did an exp experiment with 60 people who had drunk zamzam water. And he had found that their field was more intense and there was greater energy around the cells compared to people who drank normal zamzam water. So although normal water is being purified and processed and technically filtered water, but with regards to energy and the energy around the cells, it was destroying the energy and the human energy field. Whereas zamzam water was positive and it had a positive impact on human cells and the energy field. So he's 12 years of experience and he's been doing research in, in energy fields and electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic fields. His conclusion was that zamzam water will make you feel more healthier, more alive, more energetic, more positive. And he is a kafir, he has recommended that people drink zamzam water every day. And his desire was that uh, he had a few recommendations and there's even details of his research out there and available. So, Nabi Ali Salatu wa Salam has said that Zamzam Lima Shuribala, the Muhaddithin have commented as his narration, but they said because there are so much numerous narrations combined, we will accept it. Ibn Qayyim in his kitab Zadul Ma'ad has made reference to this and he said وَقَدْ جَرَّبْتُ أَنَا وَغَيْرِي I personally can vouch for the truth of this narration and many others on the benefits of drinking Zamzam. And he said, I have utilized it for a lot of sicknesses and I have been cured. In his own words, he said, وَلَقَدْ مَرَّ بِي وَقْتٌ بِمَكَّةَ it was a stage in time in my life where I was in Mecca and I was quite ill. And I had no hope in the doctors and medicines. For Kuntu, I used to cure myself through Surah Fatiha and Zamzam. Akhud churbatam mimma i Zamzam wa akrauha alayha miraran. So I must say, take Surah Al Fatiha. Read seven times Surah Fatiha, blow into the Zamzam, and then drink it. And he said, فَوَجَدْتُ بِذَلِكَ Albaratam, I found cure, complete cure. ثُمَّ سِرْتُ أَعْتَمِدُ ذَلِكَ عِنْدَ كَثِيرٍ مِنَ الْأَوْجَعِ After that, for whatever sickness and illness that I had, I utilized Zamzam. And I benefited from, me, from it very, very much. It is an Imam Arifah drank Zamzam and he made a niyat liyakun min a'lamil ulama to be amongst the greatest of ulama. Fakana kadalika. And it happens so. When you drink Zamzam, the niyat that you make, that will be. As it's Suwaid bin Sa'id, he says, I seen Abdullah ibn Mubarak bi Makkah. And he went to the well of Zamzam. Wastasqa minhu. And he drank some Zamzam. Thumma istaqbal al Kaaba. He turned to the Kaaba. And he said, Allahumma inna bna abi al Mawali haddathna an Muhammad an Jabir. Ma'u Zamzam lima shuriba lahu. 
I've heard this is the word of Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Zamzam is for the purpose that you intend for and thus year I am drinking it so that I can be protected from the thirst of the day of Qiyamah. So our Mashaykh were very particular about making the niya when drinking Zamzam. He said about Imam Nawi Rahmatullah used to say, Liman Shariba, whoever drinks Zamzam Lihajatin Nalaha for any need, your need will be fulfilled. Wakat Jarabahul Ulama was Salihun. The Ulama and the pious predecessors, predecessors have experienced this cure and remedy. And he goes on further to say that it's been proven for needs of dunya and akhirah. It's not only for our needs for dunya, but for akhirat as well. For yustahabu liman sharibahu lil maghfira aw li shifa min maradin. So whether you want maghfirat or you want cure, then a person when he's drinking zamzam should say, Allahumma innahu balagani. O oh Allah, it has come to me that whoever drinks zamzam, then that will be for that purpose. So Ya Allah, whatever my need is, whether faghfilli, O oh Allah, forgive me, or O oh Allah, grant me thus, then make that niyat. Hakim Tirizmi is rahmatullah say that fihi dalilun ala anna ma zamzam that with regards to Zamzam, it will be for the needs of whatever a person wants. So if a person drinks it to fill their stomach, their stomach will get filled. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ If you drink it to get satiated, you will get satiated. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ لِشِفَاءٍ شَفَاهُ الله. If you need for shifa, Allah will give you cure. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ لِسُوءِ خُلُقٍ And if you got bad character, حَسَّنَهُ الله. Allah will give you good character. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ لِذِيقِ صَدْرٍ And if your chest is constrained and you need hidayat and guidance, شَرَحُ الله. Allah will open up. If there is darkness, Allah will remove the darkness. If you need it for contentment, Allah will make you content. If you need it for wealth, Allah will make you wealthy. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ لِهَاجَتٍ كَضَاهُ الله. Allah will fulfill your need if you ask for it. Whatever your need is, كَفَاهُ الله. Allah will suffice for you. لِكُرْبَةٍ difficulties كَشَفَهُ الله. Allah will remove your difficulties. وَإِن شَرِبَهُ لِنُسْرَةٍ نَسْرَهُ الله. If you need the help of Allah, Allah's help will come. وَبِأَيِّ نِيَّةٍ شَرِبَهَا مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الْخَيْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَفَاهُ اللَّهُ لَهُ بِذَلِكَ Whatever your needs are, Allah will fulfill your needs. Allah will fulfill your requirements. So, the mashayikh, the ulama were very particular on this. Let us have a habit and make it a routine. Ibn Arabi used to say, it is mentioned in Ahkam Quran with regards to Zamzam, Hada mawjudun fi ila yawmil qiyamah. It is not only for today, but it is there to stay till the day of qiyamah. Liman sahat niyatuhu. Your niyat needs to be correct. And you should not be walam yakun bihi mukadhiban. Don't be doubtful. And don't think so it's a test and a try. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الْمُتَوَكِّلِينَ Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those who have taqwa. The amal for today is that غَفَرُ اللَّهُ لِرَجُلٍ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ كَانَ سَهْلًا سَمْحًا That when you do business transaction, you are very calm, relaxed, overlooking. When you buy and sell, a person's maghfirat will be made. A person will be soft, gentle, Friendly, lenient, حرم الله على النار. Allah will forbid the fire of Jahannam. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين.